hello everyone how are you i hope everybody is doing great and uh, today again your uh, teacher adnan askar is right in front of you with the live session again so uh, today the topic is really interesting it's all about thinking and today we will learn that how to think so stay with me till the end of the uh, lecture and get many of the new ideas related to the thinking or in other words we can say that the brainstorming okay so today we are going to talk about the brainstorming in our 14th lecture uh, i'm waiting for some students to appear so that we could start our lecture okay uh, some of the students uh, joined us just a few seconds back in a uh, uh, Zoom cloud meeting app there in which we uh, discussed about the brainstorming and we discussed so many new things and Sir Asim was the speaker there. So now what we are going to do here, I'm just going to revise those things for you people and uh, it will help you in developing the brainstorming or it will help you in increasing the power of thinking. Okay. So, as you can see here, it's the brainstorming today. Okay, okay, so, um, yes, hello, Hamabarik. Uh, the people are arriving here one by one, so I'm just waiting for them. Okay, um, please make sure, since I'm working really hard for you people sitting at my home and using my mobile phones and my internet here so i am uh, here just to avail the time for you people so that your time at your home should not be wasted there okay so what you have to do at least follow my instructions at least be punctual at the times when i am assigning you the lectures uh, i have assigned the timings of the lectures in the nights from 9 to 11 okay at least from 9 to 11 you should be available on your mobile phones you should be active on your WhatsApp groups at least. When you are active at your WhatsApp groups, then you will be able to listen to get my instructions there. Okay, I always post my instructions at my WhatsApp group that whether the session is going to be held at Zoom app or at Facebook or at YouTube or etc. etc. Okay, I will post my every lecture on the YouTube. Make sure, okay. It will take one day or two day, not a big deal, but I will post my every lecture on the YouTube. But if you have to join my live sessions, then it will be either on Zoom app or on Facebook. So please try to be punctual at the times. Okay. So today we discussed about uh, in the group about the um, tongue twisters as well. The tongue twisters are really good for improving your fluency, as I told you. Okay. If you want to. <coughs> improve your fluency then you should work really work hard on the tongue twisters if uh, your tongue twisters are good means you are doing the practice daily on daily basis then your fluency will improve automatically okay so this is the simple uh, request to you students to do the practice of those at your homes one by one yes mushahid hello so uh, today we learned from uh, one of uh, our teacher, Mr. Asim, he joined us from Karachi and we learned about the brainstorming there. So today we are just going to uh, make the lecture a bit lengthy here in this session. Uh, for 10 to 15 minutes I will just take to complete my, complete my talk, okay? Then you can ask the questions there. The brainstorming. The other word for the brain is storming is mind mapping. Okay, mind mapping. Or in other words, we can also call it recalling the period. knowledge okay okay now the question arises okay now the question arises 
why should we do the brainstorming now we are clear that how to do the brainstorming and we did a brainstorming on one of the topics uh, that was the leaders and I also assigned you the homework so now what is the need behind doing the brainstorming behind doing the mind mapping what is that so uh, if you all remember in my classes I always uh, teach you a thing what is that thing I I just make this circle okay suppose a person a is sitting inside this circle okay and this person a has to move okay uh, I'm just giving you another example okay another person named B and C they both are fighting to each other okay we have three persons here a person a who is inside the circle while two persons b and c they both are outside the circle and they both are fighting with each other when this person a listens the voice of the noise okay the voice of noise what sort of the noise the voice of noise of fighting okay when they both were fighting outside certainly some noise was created there so this person a listened it now he wants to see there that who is fighting there so to observe that what is happening outside this circle he has to cross the circle okay when he will cross the circle then he will start watching them and then he will take some actions either he will stop them either he will uh, advise them either he will prohibit them to fight or etc etc he will take the further actions when he will cross this circle unless he is not crossing this circle what would happen he can go here he can go here he can go here he can go here he keeps on moving in the entire circle but he will never find that what is happening outside what is happening outside to see that and to take some action against that he has to cross the boundaries the boundaries of the circle okay my dear students so this is what the brainstorming all about you are a you all are a and the circle is what the circle is about your brain okay the circle is your brain you have to cross your brand you have to cross the limits of your brand to see what is happening in the universe okay okay so i hope you got my points the question was uh, the okay okay let me just write down the question again okay why okay why do we do the brand storming so so the answer okay so the answer is very simple what is the need behind doing the brand storming it's to open the doors of your brain your brain is right now a circle a closed circle having no any opening and if you have to observe the entire universe then you have to open the doors of your brain now the question arises how can we open the doors of our brain so the answer is very simple 
look you do not have to google the topics you do not have to open the dictionaries do one simple thing is i always uh, teach you right now you are free you are not having any uh, you know i mean academics okay you're not having any school you're not having any tuition center so what you have to do whenever you are free at least watch one movie the movie which is really new do not watch the old fashion movies okay the watch the updated movie or watch some uh, informative movie the movie which is related to the science the movie which is related to the you know means new inventions or well, what else you can do just um, if you're not watching the movies just watch some news channels okay for at least two or three news channels on the daily basis just watch those for some time okay just watch those do not know down anything when you are watching any movie or any news channel the things the points will automatically be fitted in your brain now when you will start um, doing the brainstorming you will start thinking any topic as I have told you, now just think, okay? Think from the pure knowledge, the knowledge that is already in your brain. Just think from it. Think the new, new words about that topic, okay? When you will start doing that automatically, in one or two topics, you will feel difficulty. But after, later on, you will enjoy doing the brainstorming, okay? So... Look here, if you can see there, now we did that, that why the brainstorming, I told you the reason, what was the reason there, there was the reason, very strong reason I just gave you in this example, okay, and then I, I told you to watch news channels or watch some movies. The movies which should be related to the, uh, you know, I mean, information technology, which should be related to the uh, new inventions or etc. etc. Okay, they always teach you something. When you observe any movie, they always teach you something. It's not like that 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 any movie is in vain. Every movie, every news has some information, some news. Okay, it's not necessary. Uh, whether you just watch it uh, for the enjoyment, it's not necessary. You just watch unintentionally means okay, you will not even think of it, but the knowledge will be fitted in your brain, in your mind, okay? So, so watch these to improve your knowledge. And the most important thing is reading again. If you are not doing the reading, then it's impossible to open your brain. Okay, if you want this circle to have a door here, then you have to do the reading. Reading is really important. You can read the news papers, you can read the magazines, okay? Okay. What you can read, you can read the newspapers, you can read the magazines, the new magazines, okay? And do not read the stories. Okay, right now, okay, right now you are not at the edge of Okay, you are not at the edge of uh, the reading these stories, but uh, uh, okay, the next uh, question is put there, so we can also get it. Okay, look, Mazeb, uh, do not use social media or Google for reading. Okay, and this is just my point of view. It's not necessary. Why do I feel that we should not uh, read uh, from the social media or Google? Because sometimes when you uh, go through the social media, there are so many, you know, means uh, interesting things there, the entertaining things are there that we forget to read. We feel irresponsibility. Okay, that's why I do not prefer the social media or Google. 
because uh, a child when he opens the Facebook or he opens the Google who will read then when the laptop is on or mobile phone is in hand nobody is going to study there okay they will just look for the entertaining things there so that's why what I feel but uh, if you are mature and you feel the responsibility then you can go for the social media or Google otherwise I don't prefer it for the students it's not preferable for the students not at all right now at your age you can just go for the newspapers having no any mobile phone in your hands or you can go for the magazines once if the mobile phone is in your hand huh, live sessions they are something else because you are focusing and you are watching there you cannot move into the other tabs but if you are using the social media for reading purpose certainly your you know means thinking will go towards the entertaining things you will think why shouldn't i listen a song why shouldn't i chat with some of my friends okay so that's why okay mubarak's question now sir uh, we have to read the novels or not okay look sir novels at your age it it is not preferable at your age because uh, you are in the learning age very short age okay the novels they are written in very difficult language okay the language is very difficult very you know means constructive language is there so it's very hard to understand that okay that's why at your age at the basic age or, or at the basic level of the english we do not prefer the novels okay okay now if you have any question you can ask me so what is the best option what is the best option in my point of view okay it's your point of view is different it's not a big deal in my point of view newspaper or magazine okay now again as i have told you the way of reading okay i hope the brainstorming is clear and i cleared that why do we use the brainstorming okay now we are moving towards the uh, newspaper okay how can you read the newspaper and how to get uh, one's ideas one thing is very clear if you have to read read very loudly so that everybody not everybody at least you could listen your voice okay and then target some target two and initially just target two writers okay just target two writers and read the writers passages every day okay at least for four to five weeks continue to read the passages which are written by the same writer okay and after four or five weeks just move towards the second two writers okay what would happen in this way what would happen if you target uh, just one or two writers initially for continuous four to five weeks it will happen for continuous 30 or uh, 36 days you are reading uh, one person and the entire vocabulary that is that is installed in that person will be transferred to you now you can easily understand the writings and the vocabulary of that person okay now you can move towards the next person so this is the best way to improve your vocabulary as well as well your reading and certainly when you will read loudly it will increase your speaking skill as well okay so i hope you got the points from my side and now tomorrow what you have to do you have to do the brainstorming on the topic that i gave you about the corona the COVID-19 you have to do the brainstorming about COVID-19 and then you have to share the pics with me on the whatsapp group okay the question is how we can practice on this top look as I told you just recall your memories just think of your memories you might have heard about that topic from someone you might have watched any movie you might have uh, listened someone is speaking about the topic okay so uh, this is the way to do 
you know means this is the way to open the doors of your brain at that stage if you start uh, using the social media using the internet to search for the topics then you will be you know means uh, uh, what i call that you will be habitual of doing that you will never be able to open the doors of your brain so that's why right now what you have to do you have to just use your brain what is installed in your brain just try to um, take it out okay so uh, thank you very much for uh, today's uh, session and i hope uh, it will help you in improving the things that i told you uh, up to tomorrow see you bye bye and allah hafiz and uh, those who have not subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel the name of my youtube channel is spark virtual academy i will also share the link of that as well with you people allah hafiz see you tomorrow